Uh, they definitely used the buy well. Uh, they all had a couple of days off, the weekend off, and uh, went down to Gold Coast and Brisbane. Um, some other girls who stayed in town didn't, didn't really do much at all, so they came back uh, with great intensity on our Monday and Wednesday night's training, and good to go. Uh, yeah, they're going to be really tough. Um, you know, they've been in the championship the last three years in a row. Um, they've won it, so they definitely kind of they've got that playoff experience. So they'll come out with a, a lot of intensity, um, and they'll you know try to get the job done. Especially being on the road, it's going to be a bit tougher for them. But you know we're not taking them easy at all. Probably most standish, Allison, Horton, and Willie. Uh, you know, big four for them. Uh, they've got the job done uh, in every other single game that they played against, so it's not one stepping up, it's the other, so they've been together for a couple of years now and uh, they, they just work well together on the court. Uh, definitely not, uh, all the girls are pretty uh, level-headed with, um, with what we've achieved this year. Um, coming from the start, uh, you know, we weren't expecting to make, well, I wasn't expecting to make finals at all until halfway through the season we uh, put some games together. Um, but yeah, they're all pretty level-headed and just ready to go. Um, well, at the moment I'm probably thinking that Northside's going to win and uh, most probably Bundy. Uh, both games are going to be tough for each team, so... The highlight for us was just the way that we started the game that first quarter. The girls really, um, you know, showed their intent and that that was really impressive for me. Oh, well, you know, that's the challenge for us is to try to turn those results around. We know probably the first game we went in there a little bit underdone. Second game at home here, we just didn't execute properly. So that's something that we'll be trying to re-establish and, and do that on Saturday night. Well, I mean, playing in Gladstone in Gladstone is a challenge in itself. They, they've always performed better there. Um, their group is, uh, you know, fairly potent across the floor. So a matter of being able to make sure we contain their scoring abilities. And also, as I said before, how we execute is going to be very crucial on Saturday night. No, not at all. These girls, um, Having won three in a row, they've had a lot of expectation and a lot of pressure put on them over the last few years and they're used to it and you know, we're in a sudden death situation at the moment and that's something that uh, we, you know, we thrive in and you know, that's something that I'm, I'm looking forward to. Yeah, really difficult to try to line up other form because you don't see, a lot, see enough of them and I guess you, you, you obviously think that the home teams have the advantage. I think Northside are a real smoky. They've really put together a, a good back end of the season, so I, you know you wouldn't want to be playing them. But I think Bundaberg probably would be the favourites in the other one, and Ipswich are still favourites to beat Northside as well. So yeah, it's pretty hard to pick either. Oh, look, I think we used the boy around quite well. Um, we had our annual dinner, so that was quite nice. Um, we also allowed us to get out a few little niggling injuries, which you always get this time of the year towards the end of the season. So it was it was kind of nice to have that week off. Oh, look, I believe um, both teams have changed significantly. Uh, we went on a little bit of a form slump, um, and that was a catalyst of that that loss. So um, since you know about four or five weeks ago, we've um, really started to hit our straps, and we're going to, we're going pretty good. So. I expect a much different outcome this weekend and I'm hoping the girls can play our, our style of game this week and we should be able to come away with a win. Oh look, you know, the two bigs they had, um, they're the ones that really beat us last time. So Bianca Abbott and Mackenzie, you know, they were, they were physical, they were tough. Um, they were basically the difference in the teams last time. So, you know, our bigs are going to have to play a little bit tougher this week and really going to have to look to, you know, out-rebound them, out-muscle them and, and just, you know, out-play them. Oh, look, I think both games are going to be tough matchups, to be honest. Um, I think the Mackay and Gladstone one's going to be interesting considering, you know, from what I hear, Gladstone have lost a couple of players. Um, 
I mean, I'm expecting Mackay to be you know, a tough veteran unit that should be able to come out playoff time. Uh, I think Northside's quite a dark horse. Um, they've got an outstanding team um, from what I've seen. When we've played them, um, it's always been a tough matchup, and I'm, I'm really expecting the come finals that they might cause a couple of upsets. It was not the results we were after, but I view it as two really good hitouts leading into a final series. Um, there were definitely some positives there. The girls found a way to really lift under pressure and obviously fatigued on a really tough northern road trip. We just need to focus on what we need to do as a team, executing offence and sticking to our principles. Defensively, we know where we need to be at. Um, the girls just need to get it done. Obviously, we have a bit of a mental edge there, knowing that we've beaten them before, so why not beat them again? The ball's in our court. I think the biggest challenge is we're on their home court. It's going to be loud. They'll have a crowd. Um, we just need to rise to that challenge and really ride on that emotion and, and roll with it. The matchups will be great. Um, you know, I'm really interested to see the battle of the bigs. You know, Brooklyn Pope likes to go hard at the rim. Uh, Let's see what Emma McKenzie can do with that. I'm really liking Northside at the moment. Um, they're in really great form, so my money's on them to beat Ipswich. Heading up north, uh, Gladstone have home court advantage, so it's really tough to go against that, you know. So Mackay have a big challenge ahead of them, but I'm going with Gladstone on that win. Um, just our intensity. We didn't come with any purpose. Uh, when we played them last, we were just sort of going through the motions and obviously they were still playing for playoff spots and they come out really aggressive and they're a really good side, they've got a lot of talent and they improve a lot as the season go on with their consistency, so they're very dangerous, but yeah, we'll just be looking to bring out this intensity and determination and hustle. Uh, obviously they're... They've got the big three there, they've got the two girls that we made finals with the grand final a couple of years ago, so they're obviously two players that we know and are uh, great players. Arja is another one who's their import, who's an outstanding player, and has really in the last few weeks, last month of the season, her stats have skyrocketed. So she's obviously found a feat playing with and gelled a lot better with Emma and Nadine. So they're the big three where they find most of their points. But again, last time we played them, their role players hit every shot as well. So they're dangerous and they're in their core starting group. Yeah, I think um, the Mackay Gladstone game will be um, very competitive. Uh, with Gladstone, if Bygate and Taylor are both missing, I think Mackay will get that one. Just having too much experience at this level, and um, obviously missing those two girls is huge for Gladstone. And the other semi between Bundy and Gold Coast, I think to travel after a big weekend at Cairns Towns with a backup to go to Bundy to play Bundy up there will be a very difficult task to knock them off. So I think Bundy will get the job done at home. Look, it was a great game for us. Um, I really think the main highlight for, for us was our consistency in our form, and we're going to take that momentum into the finals this weekend. Oh, look, it's a final, but certainly our focus the last month or so at practice has certainly been our defensive focus each week, and we're just going to come out hard and play, but um, it should be a great game. Oh, Arja Parham and Chelsea Swears are certainly the key players for both groups, uh, and that's an exciting matchup. But the team that has, you know, the the team on the floor that's contributing together will be the team that gets the win for sure. Oh, look, I really think, um, you know, Gold Coast, uh, they're a tough team, and um, I, I really think they can't be underestimated. So I think that they may get through. Um, Gladstone Mackay. Um, I know Gladstone are under man this, this week coming, but um, they, they certainly will play together as a team in the pressure moments, and um, I'm sure they'll get through Mackay.